Shane Bieber. He is next up. You notice we have the topics highlighted now. I wanted to make that a little bit easier. By the way, shout out to Frankie who had his wisdom teeth out. Hope you're feeling okay, Frankie. I remember when I had mine, mine out. That was rough, but the medicine was good. So I've seen a lot of comments about Shane Bieber lately uh, in the Yankees online chatter. The Guardians were abysmal this year. They went 76 and 86, which is six games worse than the also abysmal Yankees. And they just lost their Hall of Fame manager, Terry Francona, who retired. So it makes sense as they begin to rebuild the team under new management that they would possibly move one of their bigger trade assets in Shane Bieber, who won the 2020 Cy Young Award and has been a pretty good pitcher over his career. But here's the thing. He missed a lot of time this year with elbow inflammation, which is Those are two words that make me think Tommy John's surgery is on the way as a precursor because you're putting pressure on the elbow if you're getting elbow inflammation. Only a matter of time before something snaps. And I don't necessarily love the trend lines with Shane Bieber. Now, there are things to like, uh, and I'm definitely interested at the right price. So when you look at his stat cast data as we take a look at this, uh, this year was kind of a mixed bag. Basketball is well below average in terms of velocity, but it's still effective. The breaking stuff is still well above average, too. And he's in the 80th percentile of walk percentage, so he throws strikes. I like his downhill angle. He gets a ton of ground balls. He's in the 75th percentile of the league in that category. Gets a lot of extension. That could be one of the reasons the elbow hurts. But he used to be a guy that got a ton of strikeouts, and those are are declining fast. His strikeout percentage has dropped from being in the top of the league, 41.1% in 2020 during the COVID season, 33% the following year, 25% the year after that, and now down to 20.1% in 2023. And if you look at his expected ERA, it's gone from 2.62 in 2020 to 3.73 the following season in 21, slightly back to 3.51 in 2022, and then shot way up to 4.83 this year. Now, part of that was probably the elbow, but to me, these are alarming trends. And I say, if you can get him for a reasonable price, you do it because he's got a pedigree. He throws innings. He knows how to pitch. And there's some positives there. I like the ground ball rate. I like that he throws strikes. He's pitching for a contract. He's trying to, you know, get to that free agent contract. But to me, he's a guy who's a high risk of an elbow injury. I I just see the warning signs there. Highest I would go on Shane Bieber is probably a couple of mid-level prospects, maybe some cash considerations, and I don't think that's enough to get it done. I would much rather have Dylan Cease, who I see as a lot more upside, Corbin Burns, even though he's not going to sign an extension, he can be your number two behind Garrett Cole and really be that guy who you know helps you power through the postseason. And then uh, Jordan Montgomery, still out there as a free agent, and we all know that I am the uh, president of Gumby Nation, so I, uh, I hope there is some truth to those rumors. But I've heard mixed mixed reviews on whether or not Jordan Montgomery would be willing to come back to the Yankees. Uh, Ben Green says Corbin and Frankie. Interesting. Frankie Montas, another guy that being considered, but again, shoulder injuries worry me. <laughs> and and Hitskin says Montas pitched for a contract. Yeah, he threw a third of an inning. <laughs> All right, let's take some comments on Shane Bieber. Dr. Anarchy says, I'd be fine trading Everson Pereira for Bieber. Straight up, given that the Yankees now have a little bit of outfield depth, maybe, but I would want them to eat some of that contract so I could go out and get somebody else just in case he breaks, which he might. Uh, Dominic and Lenny says, Trevor Bauer couple of question marks. It's a possibility. I haven't seen many teams interested in him. He obviously had a decent year in uh, Japan this year. I think there's more of a likelihood they would go with somebody like a, a Shota Imanaga or a Jordan Montgomery before they would go to Bauer. But if those guys get scooped up, then I could definitely see uh, Bauer becoming an option. Uh, let's see here. Joe says, Blake Snell to the Yankees. I've talked ad nauseum about Blake Snell, and and he's got some of the same warning signs that uh, other pitchers that have had. David Price is a good example. And I've, you know, if you're 
hearing me repeat this, sorry, but for the people who are not uh, daily watchers of this channel, my opinion on on Blake Snell is that he throws way too many pitches. Five, six innings, he's at 100 pitches every time, and they're high-stress pitches, and he walks a lot of guys. And to me, that's a recipe for somebody who's going to break down. We saw that with David Price. And then, you know, once you, you know Patrick Corbin, another guy. Uh, once you start to lose a little bit off that fastball, become a little bit more hittable, you start to give up the three-run home runs because you're walking guys. So I'm not, I'm not super high on Blake Snell long term. Uh, Word Lifer says Snell is a trap, and I agree with Word Lifer. I hardly agree. And Mark says he won the Cy Young Award. He did. He did win the Cy Young. You're not wrong. But we're talking about a long-term contract. You don't want to pay for past performance. He won two Cy Young Awards. But you don't want to pay for past performance. You want to project into the future. And there's a lot more than the statistics on baseball reference when you're, you're thinking about handing out a big contract. To me, he's probably going to go to a team that's willing to overpay a little bit. To me, that's the San Francisco Giants. They've been having trouble getting people to come to San Francisco. They need pitching. I could see him going there. Division rival. Ball game over. Most impressive.